All right, so here we are uh, with the next uh, exercise from Code HS where we had to complete a chessboard and uh, what's interesting is this one is going to require us to uh, make an 8x8 grid and then put in strings with the, all the chess pieces here. As you see uh, we have uh, different names, so rook, knight, bishop, queen, king and some rows are just all pawns and some rows are all just dashes. So I think we can probably use a, some loops to make this, but let's go ahead and, and do this. Uh, I think it should be quite fun. I don't know if you're chess fans out there, but uh, it seems like uh, this could be fun. So let's go ahead and uh, make the sizing right. Hopefully you can see that okay. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to get the assignment up here again. Just make sure that we're clear. We need to create a 2D array, string array called chess. Okay, so that's the first step. String and chess. There we go. All right. Now, obviously there's no strings that exist right now. Right now, this is a pointer. What we've just made here is a pointer to some theory of a string array, right? It's not necessarily the strings don't exist currently. So we'll need to make those. However, um, we are going to start to create the arrays. So let's go to a docs refresher memory. Let's make an array. How do we make an array? Well, we need new int blah, 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 right, like this. So let's go here and see, hang on, 2D array. Um, let me bring up the docs because this is gonna be more important. Okay. All right, let's specify our sizing here. So we need the size of our array, right? So right now, we made a pointer here. This is not a an array, this is a pointer. So let's go ahead and make the real memory. Let's assign the memory here. So we're gonna say string, and we're gonna go eight by eight. This here is gonna make our actual full array. It doesn't make the strings, the strings don't exist, but it has made the space to store all these uh, these strings. Okay, so now we've got a chunk of memory assigned. Okay, very good. All right, so next step is uh, uh, we need to create. Okay, so right now all we got is just a, an empty thing. We need to go and create these names here. All right, so let's do the, um, the for loops. As you will get to know, when you're dealing with 2D arrays, you're going to need to use double for loops to go through the whole thing. So get used to it. Uh, it's going to be something like this. I less than all right, chess dot length. All right, so that's our rows we're going through here. I plus plus. All right, and the next one will be for int j, starting at zero, j less than. Now, obviously this is a eight by eight. We could just write eight, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna write j less than chess. And now it's not chess dot length, it's chess zero dot length. And j plus plus. Why chess zero? Well, what we want to do is, when we think about our chess array, and I'll just write it up in some comments here. Our chess array is looking something like this. We have, uh, you know, rook, oh gee, I don't want to write it out. Let me just, let me do it over here. Okay, so think about it, like this is our first array, right? The first row. We, we're going to be saying, uh, how big is this? Right? We're saying in this one, we're saying we know how many rows there are, it's chest at length, right? One, two, 
three. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. This is the essentially down is this length, right? Now we're saying across how many so we take the first array and we say how long are you? Right? Take the first array and say how long are you? That's this is the standard uh, procedure for creating your double for loops. All right, so within this, now I have an, an I value represents the rows, and the J represents the columns. I now need to furnish this, uh, furnish these. How do I say? Have furnished the furnished these positions with the correct strings. All right. So here's what I got to do. I know that if it's zero, if the row is zero, I'm going to have a bunch of different values. If the column is one, then it's going to be a rook. If the sorry, if the row is zero, or the row is uh, length minus one and the column is zero, then it's going to be rook. Uh, if the column, if the row is one or length minus two and the column is zero, uh, you get my meaning, right? So like if the row is two and the row is three and four and five, it's going to be a dash no matter what it is, right? So these are kind of if statements. Okay, If statements are going to be what I need here. So I think what we're going to have to do is, as we go through, this is processing every single thing, I need some if statements to tell me what to put. Let's do the dashes first, and I'll give you an idea. So if I is greater than two and I is less than uh, let's just uh, so let's say if our our length minus one is here and length minus two is there and i is less than so if i is less than so if i is any one of these right if greater than two less than that we are just going to catch that and say um chess i j this coordinate so if we've gone we're going through it, this is going through all the coordinates if this coordinate matches these, then set the coordinate to make a new string, and the string is going to be a dash. All right? So we're catching these values in here. Let's give it a run. Just see what happens. Oh, what's that? Jeez, well, what's with what's with my <laughs> terrible programming here? Okay, there we go. This is sorry, my bad. I didn't see that. I was getting too excited to run. Okay, so we have a bunch of nulls. We have some in the middle, and I'm gonna just make that a little bit. I think my screen's too small to see it properly. There we go. So we have uh, some kind of like null, null, null here. That's a bit weird. Um, I don't know if this is a printing error, but let's just uh, proceed, assuming that this is correct. Although it does look a bit weird there. Hmm. Uh, let me just do an else, and uh, else uh, just to get rid of it. I just want to test this. Chess I uh, J equals new. String space. 
I just want to get rid of those nuts. Is this a printing error or is this a my logic error? Okay. Yeah, so that looks better. So I must have been a printing error that the nulls messed up the formatting, but as you see now, we've got the three uh, three rows. Now, this should be four. One, two, three, four. So something is miss amiss with my logic. Okay. If I is greater than two, zero, one, ah, greater than or equal to two. So let's just say greater than one, right? And I'm doing too many. Okay, that's better. Okay, much better. Fix it. All right, so so there we go. We, we sort of, um, we fixed that error now. So now what we need to do is go through and fix up our rook, knight, bishop, queen, king, bishop, knight, rook. All right, so now I could do this with logic and that would be super great, but I think what I'll do is instead of that, I'm not gonna take away this because I know that I don't need spaces there. I'm going to now catch the first row and the last row. And I'm going to uh, just write, because these are basically the same thing, right? Same thing. So if it's the first row or the last row. So if if i equals zero or i equals to chess dot length minus one, then let's set my chess I equals, and I'm going to make a, a new, like an array here. So I'm going to write rook, oops, rook, knight, bishop, queen, king, Excuse my slow typing. Bishop and knight and book. So I basically made an array to stick in there. I've set the array to be this. And finally, uh, pawn. Right, okay, so what I need to do is just uh, write pawn for all of these things. Now, so if the if the row is one, or the row is uh, length minus two, then I just write pawn. So if, if i, i equals one, Or I equals chess dot length. Hey, wait a second. Like minus two, sorry, minus two. Then we're just going to write chess I J equals I probably could have done that here too instead of new string but uh, the question is do you want them to be a new string or all the same string I'm going to say new string so they're all different because they're all different pieces okay uh, 
there is a tendency in Java that if you just write a, 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 a string, it refers to the same string. So if you remove one, it removes the other. This is creating a new space in memory for each one. Okay, so for the for the sense of this output, I think you know it, it's the same. If it was an actual game of chess, I might need to make each piece separate. Okay, what have I done? Ah, okay, so I've made an illegal thing here. I've I've done a new, a wrong thing. I have uh, I haven't made this array legally. Okay, so. My let me refer to my docs. How do I make my array legally? Okay, so uh, I should be making it such that I have a new int array. So let's make a new int array here. Int. Oops, sorry. String. String error equals. Does that does that like it any better? Let's see. Oh, it doesn't like that either. Ah, oh, because I haven't declared it properly. Okay, so as you see, you know, sometimes, sometimes these things just take a bit of getting used to. Okay, so I finally declared it properly, and now let's check. Does it look right? Rook, knight, bishop, queen, king, yep. Yeah. So, all declared pretty, pretty correctly. Let's see if code HS likes it. Mm hmm great. So, that was one way to solve it. I'm not saying this is the perfect way. Um, definitely not perfect, but it did seem to me the, the, the ones that repeat are easy to do as a a repeatable thing like that like that uh, the these run of different things uh, was probably the easiest way to do it like this and uh, we created uh, you know uh, basically a, an array uh, we created this twice and yeah, uh, I, I think that's probably like the best explanation I can make of that. But the the key is here that you really have to think of like in terms of this is just a feature to run through all of the grid. You're you're basically selecting for certain certain columns and rows where something's going to happen, right? So your columns and rows, you just selecting for certain things are true. Alright. So yes, I could have done this differently. I could have gone into more detail. I could have maybe not written this as, as a, a full thing. I could have actually gone in and said if that's true, but also if it's column J, make it a if column J is a is a zero, then make it a rook. If column J is a 1, make it a knight. If column J is a 2, make it a bishop, right? I could have done that as well. Uh, I just avoided that by just writing this as a, an array in itself. I hope that makes sense. Okay, thanks.